Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with very interesting question today. It was asked in LinkedIn SQL interview. So here is the question statement sent by one of my subscribers. Let's understand the question. Then I will show you how step by step you can solve it. Okay. So we have an employee details table, right? Let's understand the table first. So this table has employee name and city, right? So for example, employee name is Sam and city is New York and we can have multiple employees in the same city. Then we can have another city, San Francisco and employees in that city. And then we have Los Angeles and likewise we can have multiple cities and in each city we can have multiple people. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to create teams from these uh, employees, right? So if you see, write a query to return a list of teams, teams are formed within these rules, right? So team members must live in the city they represent. Okay. So what I'll do, let me take you to the SQL server and I will explain there. I have copy pasted the question. So this is my input table and this is the expected output, right? So let's understand how these teams are getting created. Each members must live in the city they represent, right? So whatever team we will make, those employees should be from the same city, which is fine. For each city, create teams of three until they are few, fewer than three who are unassigned. When they are fewer than three people assigned, unassigned in the city, they form a team. So what it does it mean? So if you see, in New York, we have five employees, right? So what we will do, we will create a team of three people, Sam, David, and Peter. You see, Sam, David, and Peter here, right? Then after that, you see, there are only two employees. So those employees should be part of another team, right? So in one team, we cannot have more than three employees. We can have maximum three employees and we will keep creating team of three, three, three. When there are less than three people remaining in that city, then there will be another team, right? So there are two teams in New York. Look at San Francisco. There are only two people are there. So they will form a team, right? Then again in Los Angeles, there is only one person. So he will make a team, right? Now imagine in New York, we have seven people. So there will be two teams of three, three and one team of one, right? So this is how we have to create a team. Now there is some more report requirement. It says there should be three columns city name a comma delimited list of up to three players right so we should have city name and comma separated list of people who are part of that team so this is fine the city should be ordered alph alphabetically so we should have city names in alphabetical orders which is also fine their name should be ordered alphabetically within the comma delimited list so this list that we are creating right in that these names should be alphabetical. So D is first, then P, then S. C is first and then J. Their name should be, this is fine. Team names are team plus a number, right? Okay, one more thing is players are selected in the order they occur in table, right? So it is not in any order as such, right? In whatever order they occur in table. So this is important. So when I'm creating a team, right, I will create a team of Sam, David and Peter. I cannot create a team of Sam, David and Chris because in whatever order they are in the table, I need to make team accordingly. So Sam, David, Peter will be in one and then Chris zone. I cannot do Sam and zone and another team of Chris, Peter, David. That will be wrong. Okay. Team names are team plus a number, right? So we place them in alphabetical order. And after that, we have to make a team, team one, team two, team three, team four. So we have to add this number in the team word. Right? So this is what the requirement is. Yeah, that's it. For example, the first rows team is team one, then team two and so on. So team 20 only shows the first 20 rows. This is fine. You can ignore it. Great. So let's solve it. How we can solve it, right? So I'll just start working with this table. Okay. Now. Uh, if you want, you can take create table and insert table statement from the description box. Try it, try out yourself and then you can come back and check my solution. So we have to create a team of 3, 3, right? So first of all, I would want to have a row number, which will give me that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I will reset that row number 1, 2 and then again 1, right? So I'll say row number 
over i will do partition by city right within each city i need row number now order by is important here now think about it let me do order by employee name and i'll tell you what is the problem there right let me run this table uh, plain and as well as with row number and then we will see if it is fine or not okay so if you see this is my table in this sam is first then david then peter and in this order i need to create a team now if i do partition by city right if i do partition by city then within city if you see chris is getting one right but here it is at fourth so if i create a team it will be like chris david john because one two three will go in one team which is wrong so i don't want to do order by employee name right but I have to give something in order by right when I am drawing row number I need to tell based on what row number has to be created so what I will do I will say city only right because city name is anyway same so it will not reorder the data within city it will just give me numbers as and when they are there in the table itself right so let me run it again and show you now if you see same David and Peter are there first and here also Sam, David, Peter, then Chris, John, and here Chris, John, right? Now this row number is fine, right? This Los Angeles is first, there is only one person, so row number one, that's it. For New York, one, two, three, four, five. Then for San Francisco, one and two, in the same order, they are in table. Steve, Rachel, here also if you see, Steve, Rachel, right? So this will work for me, order by city. Great. So let's move on, I'll just remove this. So I will say probably with CTS this. Now I need to create team. So what I will do, I need to create a team of 3333. Three, three, three. So I will just select star from CT, right? And here I will say RN divided by 3.0. I will do in decimal, right? So that I get decimal values, right? I will tell you how it will help me. But let me run this and I will call it as uh, team group, right? Team group or team ID, anything is fine, right? Or group, team group, anything is fine. Let me run this. Okay, so you see I am getting 0 0.3, this is fine. 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 1. So these people should be in same group and then this and this should be in same group. So what I can do, if I take ceiling, so ceiling function, what it will give me, it will give me nearest upper integer. So 0 0.3 will give me 1, 0 0.6 will also give me 1 and 1 will be 1, right? So all these 3 will be 1, once I do ceiling, right? And they will be part of 1 team. Again, this will become 2, this will become 2, right? Let me do that. So I will say ceiling and run this again. Now, if you see, we have two in group one, which is fine for Los Angeles. There is only one team. See, this is one, one, one. So now I can say these three are part of one team. These are part of one team and these are part of one team, right? So within each city, we have created multiple teams. In this example, only New York has multiple seats, uh, sorry, teams. And, but even if we have 20% or anything, this logic will work the same, right? great now next what we will do right so maybe create another city city to as this now i will say select so i have to do a group by group by on city as well as team group and get all the employees as comma separated value right so i will say select from city to group by now in group i have to say city as well as team group right otherwise there will be a problem if i just say group by city then all these people will be in same group right that i don't want if i say just team group then these los angeles new york as well as these people will be in same team that is also a problem so i'm saying group by city and team group both so city and team group these three rows will be together right and that is what we want right another 
these two those will be together and that is what we want so that's why we are doing group by one city as well as team group so i will say select city team group right and then string agg now in string aggregate what i have to do i need to get comma separate val uh, values of values of employee name right separated by comma as teams right right so let me run this so why it is giving me error uh, which city is not uh, uh, why is there is a problem with city as i think should be fine let me run this okay so this is fine right so if you see we have los angeles robert new york these three guys san francisco these two guys perfect and another team of new york which has chris and john now the only problem is they are not in alphabetical order we should have david first then peter then sam so i will say within group within group within each group so this is one group right this is second group this is third group within group order by order by employee name right so that the comma separated value will be grouped by employee name right so let me run this oh no i need to select okay so now if you see they are in alphabetical order d then p then s here again r s and c j perfect now i should also do order by so order by city it is saying that it should be ordered by city as well as that's it order by city should be fine okay so now we are good right los angeles robert new york has two teams right now last thing we need is we can remove this team group first of all this is not required but in group by we need it so make sure you put it in group by right so now it is fine now the last thing we want is we want a column where we get all the team names right so what i will do i will generate a row number right here and then i will add team string in that right so it will become team 1 team 2 team 3 team 4 so let me create a maybe i will create another city just for more clarity so city 3 as you can solve this question in last number of ct which is fine so i'll just remove this and i will say select star from ct3 right and then row underscore number over we don't need partition by on full table i want to generate the team name so i will just say order by city right so that city wise it is ordered and we will get one two three four five so let me run this now okay so we got one two three four right now we just need to add uh concat team in that so i will say concat right in concat i will need team right and then row number within that and i will call it as team name right right and let's run this so we got team 1 team 2 team 3 team 4 right so what i did is i generated the row number and using concat function i am just putting team and then the row number, right and this is what is expected output right this is what is expected output right hope it makes sense and it help you in some way uh, let me know in the comment section if you have an easier way of solving this question um Thanks for watching. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, do send me on my email ID sql.namaste at gmail.com. I will create a YouTube video if you have anything. Right? Thanks for watching.